Hello children, this is Vijay Lakshmi ma'am. Nice to meet you again. Grade 5, Subject English, Topic The Grateful Tenant, written by Sudha Murthy. About the author, Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy is an Indian engineering teacher and Kannada and English author as well as a social worker. She is also the chairperson of the Infosys Foundation. She is the wife of co-founder of Infosys, N.R. Narayan Murthy. Some of the books written by Sudha Murthy, The Mother I Never Knew, 3000 Stitches, The Man from the Egg, Here, There, Everywhere, Magic of the Lost Temple, Mahashweta, Tumla, Nuni Asahasagalu, Samanyarali Asamanyaru, Computer Lokadali. Lesson The Grateful Tenant. Lesson 3 The Grateful Tenant. Pre reading activity Name some people whom you would love to remember all through your life. What makes you remember them? Children, you may have some people who have helped your family so much that you would love to remember them throughout your life. So in the same way, here is a story of a grateful tenant. What's the meaning of a grateful tenant? Tenant is a occupant of the house who resides in a house for rent is a tenant and he is very grateful. Grateful he is, he is very thankful. He is thankful for somebody. Let us see who is thankful for in this story the grateful tenant. Lesson reading. A settled home life gives everyone a chance to shine. Read how one man remembers with affection that help that an elderly couple gave him when he was a penniless student. Children, here is a man in the story. There is a man who shares his hard times as a student. When he was a student, he was very poor. He was very penniless. His parents were too poor. So he could not stay with them. His college was in Darwan. So he stayed with this elderly couple who helped him a lot. Couple is husband and wife. They were very old. These couple helped this person a lot. After getting educated, this person still does not forget the help given by the elderly couple when he was Penniless is very thankful to the elderly couple for their love and affection towards him. He tells his stay with them in this story how much of care they took when he was a student, when he stayed with them in Darwar. Lesson reading. I went for morning walks every day. I enjoyed the stroll because of the scented breeze that blew from nearby gardens and also the mild warmth of the early sun. On one such day, I noticed a plaque on the wall near the gate entrance. It had the name of the house, Sham Kamal, engraved on polished black granite. I asked Ramesh why he had chosen this name for his home. It is a combination of the names of these two people who changed my life the ones I remember and thank each day said Ramesh. Now children the storyteller is narrating the incidents where he and his friend Ramesh 
Usually, they go for a walk every morning. The narrator says that they enjoy the walk because of the scented breeze that blew from the nearby gardens. They also enjoyed the mild warmth of the early sun. One day, the narrator notices a plague. Observe in the picture, a plague is a name plate fixed on the wall. It was fixed near the entrance of the gate of his friend. You can observe in the picture, there is a plague. And it had the name of the house that is Sham Kamal. Observe the name is put, that is Sham Kamal. The name was engraved. What is the meaning of engraved? Cut words on stone. On a polished black granite, you can observe. On a black granite, the name was engraved as Sham Kamal. After looking at the name plate, the narrator, you can observe the two people in the picture. He asks his friend why he had chosen the name Sham Kamal for his house. So later, Ramesh tells his friend with pride that it is a combination of the names of two people who changed his life. He even tells his friend that they are the ones he remembers and even he thanks them every day. So he has gratitude for these two people. He tells his friend that he has kept his house as Sham Kamal because he has gratitude towards these two people. Sham Kamal stands for Shamarao and Kamala. Do you remember when I was in Dharwad, I used to stay with an old couple. And I remembered there was an elderly couple in Dharwad who used to rent out their outhouse to college students. Ramesh had stayed there for six years. So later on, he tells that it is a combination of two people who changed his life. And Sham, Sham Rao, Shama stands for Shama Rao and Kamala stands for Kamala Bai. And he even tells his friend that I think even you remember when I stayed in Dharwad, I stayed with this elderly couple. I was very penniless. I was too poor. And so I stayed with these people. And even the narrator, his friend, is the narrator also recalls, yes, I do remember during your uh, college days, you are too poor, you are effortless to pay even the rent of the house and you stayed with these people in Darwad for six years. So children, Ramesh had stayed there for six years when he was in Darwad, when he was, do, when he was uh, doing his education. Now, these are the two people, Shama Rao and Kamala Bai, who helped Ramesh during his education. Now, in the next class, let's continue and know how the old couple was helpful to Ramesh during his college days. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.